What's up, fellas? So today we're here to talk about three things you should never do with a woman, all right? Because, you know, everything I've talked about on this channel, from time to time, you're going to slip up and fuck up. You are. You know, I teach you guys not to validate women. You think you ain't going to never slip up and validate a woman? You think you ain't going to never fuck up and give a woman a compliment? It's going to fucking happen, guys. You want to minimize it, and when you catch it, you know, hope you catch it and calm that shit down. But from time to time, you're going to fuck around and just, oh, shit, I fucking validated that motherfucker, man. Don't worry about it, guys. That's going to happen from time to time. From time to time, you guys are going to lose your masculine, seductive frame. You're going to be like, girl, you're Steve Buster. <clears throat> and you'll catch it, and you'll get back in your mask. But you'll catch it, be all goofy. Girl, you <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, so uh, yeah, you catch it, but from time to time you gonna fuck around and slip and be acting playful and corny and all that shit. All right, but it's three things you could never do. You never need to slip up and do these guys. All right, ever under no circumstances. All right, because it kills a woman interest faster than a motherfucker. All right, first off, pillow talking. That's when you land in the fucking bed like a little bitch. And you gossiping. That means that you're telling all your friends business. You're telling all your family business. And even worse, you're telling her all of your business. All right, guys. Guys, you always want to remain a mystery. Speak as less as possible. That right there is a big turn on to a woman when you a fucking mystery. I'm not just talking about your interest level. I'm just talking about your everyday you know, activities, what you're doing. All that is what you want women trying to figure out, you know, what you're doing, this, that. You don't want to just tell every fucking thing, all right, guys? That's why I don't want you guys talking the whole fucking lot. It, not only is it an interest indicator, you just tell a woman every fucking thing. It's nothing to fucking for her to discover. All right, guys, so that pillow talking is definitely a no-no. The main reason why pillow talking is a definite no-no, guys, is how can a woman cut loose and be a freak with you? How the, how the fuck you can expect to get a threesome or a woman to suck your dick and swallow and all this and that shit when you got a big fucking mouth? So a woman intuitively, instinctively know that a guy who's telling his friend's business, well, what the hell you think she thinking when you're with him? When you gonna tell him all of y'all business? Man, she suck a mean dick, boy. Did I tell you she licked my ass last night? You can't expect a woman to treat you like an alpha when you got a big fucking mouth, all right? Women don't do certain things with guys who are fucking chatterboxes. All right, guys, so shut the fuck up, guys. Do not be telling, you know, it's easy to get into. I had a girl one time, this one, my girl, this was a friend of my girl, and he, this was back in the beta male. I wasn't the only one a beta male. He was a beta male. This is like when we were like 22 years old, and the girl wasn't answering his phone, so he had me call her. He had me call the girl up. So I called and I'm like, hey, you know, he wants you to call him or whatever. And she said, man, tell him to fucking just wait till I call him fucking back. All right. And now he done told you what's going on and shit. That's what his problem is. He tell everybody fucking business. And I knew instantly. Read then what she meant by that. That mean that he hadn't told her all my fucking business. Just like he had told me all of their fucking business. All right, guys. So it, a woman can't have no respect for no guy like that. If you go and tell a girl all your friend's business, what's going on with your, your, your best friend and his girlfriend, your, your mama and her boyfriend, well, she just know that you're going to tell everything that go on in y'all fucking bedroom. All right, guys. So no fucking pillow talking, guys. Shut the fuck up. Be fucking me and all that damn gossiping and shit. All right, guys. Trying to fucking communicate. Next thing is, talk about how much money you make. All right? Now, a woman, you know, hypergamy is a real thing. So a woman is going to sift around and try to find out what the fuck you making or whatever. But you want to talk about it as less as possible. Don't be talking about, yeah, so, you know, I just applied for this six-figure job. And so, you know, once I get that, I'm going to get this big house. And you're trying to, all this carrying on where you're trying to sell her that you're going to be this such a, a, a great provider. Shit like this kills fucking attraction, guys. Anybody who's trying to sell somebody on their value lets the other person know that they're higher value than you. So if don't nobody, I don't like to date women 
that they are trying to sell themselves hard to me. That made me look at them like, damn, you know, you must not got as much sexual market value as I thought you did. All right, guys, so never want to do shit like this where you're trying to come across like you're trying to impress a woman. That's the worst fucking thing you could ever do. That is what beta males do. I know you don't like me. I know you ain't sexually attracted to me. But, 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 if I tell you all these wonderful things I got going on, then maybe you'll stick around. All right, guys, high-value men do not have to sell women on their value. Our value speaks for itself. Who we are as is speaks for itself. All right, guys, you can never expect to get treated well as a beta male because as a, as a beta male, a woman is, your value is based off of what you can provide, not you. So you're essentially saying the woman is on the pedestal and I'm lucky to be with you. And so let me provide for you, my queen. How can you expect anybody to treat you well like that when you're treating them like they're higher value than you? That's a direct signal, guys. So you never want to talk about how much money you got or none of this shit. A lot of times, guys, and I, I've learned this from myself. I made the mistake. Boy, when I got that Mercedes, boy, I was pulling up. Girls weren't even asking me. Oh, I come get you. I come get you. I come get you. Where your address? Where your address? I'm trying to show off that goddamn Mercedes. All right, guys. A lot of these girls now don't even know I have a Mercedes till like the third or fourth time we hanging out. We Most times, I done already fucked a girl before they even know I, because I live in New York now, so understand that that a, a lot of times I just uber but boy but when I first got that motherfucker boy I pulling up in front of the restaurant Woo, ain't illegal park I don't give a fuck she gonna see them say this all right guys so all this and that shit you know that man that's a direct fucking turn off let let the women sift they'll find out you got them and say this they don't need to see on the first fucking date all right, guys, I don't even fucking wear my Rolex and shit on the first date. A lot of women and shit, they don't even, I don't even do none of that shit for on the first date. I, most times, I fuck women before I display my toys, before they even know I got toys. All right, because doing it on the first date is just such a turn off, guys. All right, so if you're somebody, a, a guy who invested and got a nice watch and shit like that, or you got a Ferrari or whatever, man, do not be trying to do things where it's blatantly obvious that you're trying to show off that goddamn car. Even better guys would be better if she don't even know you got it to like the third or fourth time y'all hanging out. They're like, oh, gee, like you, that, now it's attractive because she know that you ain't even try to use that to impress her. Damn, I, I done took some girls home from here or took them uh, uh, to their car or whatever because you know you can't park around here. Took them to their car, to the garage and shit. They didn't even know I had a car. A lot of them didn't even know I had a fucking car. I don't even bring it up. I've been a fuck them. They've been a spun the night. They don't even know it'd be the fourth day. They just found out I got a car. Because in, in New York, guys, Uber is better. All right? So a lot of times the girl don't even know I got a fucking car. And that works much better when a girl find out, damn. Because most guys are trying to impress them on the first fucking date. All right? Just keep that in fucking mind, guys. Third, talk about how many women you're sleeping with or how many women you're dating. Trying to sell your value. Let women know you're dating. All right? Let women know you're dating. And, but, and I, you know, if you're somebody that you don't run the risk of running into a, a woman you're dating, you probably don't even, it probably doesn't even come up because of, uh, some, some women won't even bring this question up. But for you guys that are in school or some shit like this, or you're going to date girls at the same school, or you you want these guys, you date women in the neighborhood, so you date like two, three women in the neighborhood and shit like that, yeah, you need to bring that shit up. So we don't have no surprises, all right? New York is a big place, so the odds of me running into a girl, so unless she bring it up, I really don't have to bring it up. But if you somebody and you date women who are in your everyday living quarters or you know you might have a great chance of bringing up, you need to bring it up, but you don't got to fucking act like you fucking the man. You just dating up. I'm, yeah, I'm dating. That's it. I don't got to get in specifics. I'm dating 10 women or all this and book, trying to show you I'm the man, trying to show you I'm the man, show you how many women are attracted to me. That is a, unattractive to women. Very unattractive. You can say you're dating someone else, but you don't have to go on into all these great details of how many numbers and all this and that shit, guys. All right, guys. Anytime you're trying to show, look, look how great I am. Look how many other women want me. Ain't that... It's a turn off, guys. It's always going to be a fucking turn off. Just trying to talk about your money and trying to talk about how many other women you got. 
you don't got to get into details. If you make good money, you can just, the job will speak for itself. If, you, if you're an attorney and she asks what you do for a living and you're an attorney, great. But you don't got to be talking about I'm going to open up my new law firm next week and all this other bullshit trying to sell this fucking woman. I'm a lawyer. End the fucking discussion, guys. All right, guys. All right. Like the video. Comment down below what you guys want to see next. Holler back.